<laughs> Pretty painting. Yes, welcome to my domain. Amazing. Such tireless workers. Oh. I'm taking off a win for Asami exploiting the lower classes, but I'm adding it back because I like that she's both a talented mechanic, but still is not afraid to enjoy fashion. You're pretty. Can I have some of your hair? Looks like I have some competition. No, but Mako, you actually do. I have a couple questions. Is this an all vegetarian island? Is that where you train airbending? Do we have to wear air acolyte clothes? Do we each get our own sky bison? Bolin is fitting in with the kids. Asami, did you know Cora likes Mako? Best reaction in the whole show. Hey! Run along, Iki! Oh. Iki going Avatar state. Why is this episode unhinged? I think it's really charming. Asami's graciousness. Iki, I swear, if you don't leave us alone, I'm gonna... Cora only takes L's this entire episode. Feifong's replacement, Sai Khan, is going to be inducted as the new chief of police later. I think we should both be there. Tenzin respecting Korra's new position in the city. But there is one man who has been effective against Amon's revolution, Councilman Tarlock. The best part about Tarlock is that he seems like he's working for Amon because of the favors he's doing him, but in reality, he's on our side, but he just doesn't know how harmful he's being. But I'm sure you'll come to your senses as you have in the past. Don't hold your breath, bub. Bub. I'm the Avatar. You? are merely a half-baked avatar in training. Ooh, but Korra kinda needed this. No, you're not. You just need to work through this airbending block. Amazing advice. I'll get right on that. I wasn't finished yet. <laughs> They're so funny. You may have made a connection without realizing it. Perhaps something you mistook as a dream. I love that they give her spiritual development rather than physical development throughout this whole series. Win for the music. What a fucking jam. Aang hadn't mastered all the elements when he was battling the Fire Nation. He was just a little kid. And he wasn't alone. He had his friends to help him. I love the support. Naga away! Naga just not having it. All right, scratch that. Uh, any other ideas? Style upgrade. My dad had police scanners installed in all of his cars. I guess now I know why. I'm guessing that's not a favorite feature by the regular citizens who buy Satchimobiles. <laughs> nice CGI blending. In 2012, mind you. Each member of the team displays their skills. Although, let's be honest, Asami kinda carries. Precision. That's why the buildup isn't as much as lightning from Atla. That's funny. I didn't see your little task force or the cops the whole time. W. You can't punish all non-benders for the actions of a few. That kind of cowardice will cause our city to fall into Amon's hands. Interesting argument. Wonder if it's ever been used in history before. Momo, Appa, Naga, and Pabu's voice actor finally getting some juicy stuff. Return to your homes immediately. Yeah, as soon as you turn our power back on. The fact that this episode has stayed relevant since it debuted shows how good the writing is. <laughs> Wow, literally rounding people up. These series are so brave. Hey, let me go! Ugh. You're under arrest. Arrest him and his brother. The music buildup as the sequence gets so much more tense so quickly is just so amazing. And the cutout when Korra straight up threatens a councilman is even more powerful. Korra doing something not Korra-like. You'll have to take that up with Councilman Tarlock. Oh, I plan to. Tenzin's restrained, oh, I plan to. But you really are the worst. Ever. Whoa, Katar, uh, Tenzin. Wake up, Naga. Let's go. Honestly, still reckless, but this is a much more understandable situation to respond to. Even Tarlock's office design is so Northern Water Tribe. And does anybody notice some familiar looking fish on the wall? That's what I admire about you, Cora. Your willingness to go to extremes in order to get what you want. It is a quality we both share. Main character and the villain are alike cliche. A cliche, maybe, but one I welcome every single time. You're just as bad as Amon! Tarlock's eyes. Amon, right now at the least, represents everything he hates. His father. So he chooses to lash out. 
such a quick and ferocious start to the battle. Holy god, this fucking animation. And, for that matter, the sound design too. Clever way to deal with his water supply immediately. Still think I'm a half-baked avatar? Yes, get his ass. Oh, I love her so much. She was just a whole anime protagonist in a Nickelodeon cartoon. And what a twist! I've seen literally nobody predict this. Not a full moon! How... how are you doing this? And this reveal is even scarier to learn about. The vision shows us so much, but only gives us questions. And the pan up to the not full moon storyboarding going nuts. Support us on Patreon for early access to new videos, the ability to vote on new shows, uncut reactions, and more at patreon.com slash tv underscore wins. Thanks for watching.